One of my favorite soups is the Tarascan bean soup. Today, I'm pumping up el sabor with garnishes that are over the top. So what I usually do is grab a pound of ripe tomatoes, I cover them with water, added two peeled garlic cloves, and I cook them for like 10 minutes. And the skin is trying to fall apart, but it's still not falling apart. So really, it's just like 10 minutes. So I'm gonna add in this blender the cooked tomatoes. I want all of the flavor from every part of the tomato. And then this is about a cup of the cooking liquid. And then in here, I'm gonna add two to three chipotle sin adobo sauce. I'm adding the whole chile in here, a half a cup of white onion that I already chopped. And then I'm adding a teaspoon of salt. So this is what's gonna season the base of the sauce. I'm going to intensify its taste by doing what we call in Mexico sazonar la salsa or season the sauce where you add a little bit of oil to your pan one to two tablespoons and you let the oil really heat up and then you're gonna shock the sauce so I'm gonna stir it now I'm gonna cook these for about four to five minutes and you're gonna see bubbles all around and you wanna stop when the sauce has deepened the color, deepened the taste, thickened, and it has tiny little puddles of the fat that have risen to the surface. That is the base for the soup. It's gonna season my pinto beans and here I have my pinto beans. You could use home cooked pinto beans. You can use canned if you find the La Costeña and the refried your set. So I'm gonna add two cans. I'm gonna add two cups of the chicken broth. You could use vegetable broth, but I'm opting for chicken broth. So about two cups. Okay, super pureed. Okay, oh, look, so beautiful. So reducing the heat to medium, adding my pinto beans, and then look at how pretty this is gonna look. I'm gonna now combine that tomato base with the creamy pinto beans. I'm gonna add the rest of the broth. Then you just want these to come to a simmer. You wanna cook it for a few more minutes. You want all of the flavors to come together. It has a hint of like a brick color to it. And this base is already rich and nutritious and delicious, but now we're gonna make it fun and customize. Tortilla crisps, adding diced avocado. Mm. Cotija cheese, which is a salty cheese. A little drizzle of crema. And crumbled chicharrones. Where, where, where should I go? Mmm, mmm, yum! The base of the soup is so creamy and tasty and nurturing and against all the crunchy things on top, the tortilla crisp and the salty chicharron and the stuffed avocado and that salty cheese and mmm mmm with the chicharron it really takes it over the top you can pump up el sabor and make your tarascan soup with many more garnishes on top